In a shocking interview with Breitbart today, White House reporter Mike Cernovich revealed what he has seen and is describing as President Trump being under house arrest. Since the moment Democrats didn't get their way in the last election, they have feverishly tried to impose their will in Washington to derail President Donald Trump. His predecessor has become a stalker, setting up so-called shadow government and buying a home close to the White House so he's never too far and can keep a grip on the government. The former president kept some of his people in place as sleeper agents in Trump's administration, leaking secrets to Barack Obama and other Democrats to use the information against him. Although Trump has rooted the leakers out nearly one by one there is a different issue that's been quietly brewing for longer than he's been gone traveling. This just got busted wide open when he walked back into the White House and was seemingly placed under a strange circumstance of house arrest. Freedom Daily previously reported that the most dangerous secret agent in the White House yet was recently exposed, which could have something to do with the active coup that's now underway. Ever since Trump got elected as president, there's been no shortage of Republican traitors working behind the scenes to bring him down. Our suspicions about House Speaker Paul Ryan were confirmed several days ago, after WikiLeaks exposed how he was one of six Republicans that Hillary fought off in order to form an alliance against Trump, Chrissy Hawley reported for Freedom Daily. Now breaking reports are confirming that Paul Ryan is leading an active coup against our president at the White House, after unbelievable leak came from the White House by an insider on Thursday. Although Paul Ryan has seemingly been deliberately working against the president and his plans to make America great again, which you can read more about here, there are other people at play stifling Trump's communications with some of his own people, within his own administration. It's never been done before and there's no question at how alarmingly odd it is that this could actually take place. However, White House journalist, Mike Cernovich, has been watching this unfold and can't believe what he's seeing. On Thursday morning, Cernovich spoke to Breitbart News Editor-in-Chief Alex Marlowe on Breitbart News Daily and explains the coup he's seeing underway. Specifically, Trump doesn't have access to his messages and John Bolton, who was believed to have been under consideration for National Security Advisor. Cernovich's interview with Marlowe is reported by Breitbart. Cernovich has a running series of posts called Dispatches from Trump Land that were at the center of their discussion, Marlowe explained. There is some pretty explosive stuff in your report, said Alex Marlowe referencing Cernovich's recent Trump dispatches, and so I just wanted to unpack some of it with you. The first place where it starts in your dispatch is that Trump is on house arrest and you cite John Bolton who people thought was under consideration for National Security Advisor for Secretary of State who can't even have access to the President right now and this is a pretty big departure from campaign trail Trump. Exactly, so I'd heard from people that Trump is on house arrest, replied Mike Cernovich, I thought oh come on, the President of the United States, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard, but I kept digging into it and I kept hearing the same thing over and over again and then, of course, John Bolton wrote his column for National Review and he's begging people to retweet it. He said this is the only way the president is gonna see it, and he'll say Alex, I don't really understand, how can Trump not see who he wants to see? This is something I don't really fully comprehend within the White House. I have talked to a lot of people, it's a very weird situation. Marlowe agreed, it is a very weird situation, and this is something that I am afraid is systemic of something that's happening inside. People that listen to the show know that I am not a huge Javanka fan, referencing Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump, and I am just seeing the numbers here Mike and the people inside the White House, y'all got Kushner, y'all got Ivanka Trump, Gary Cohn, Dinah Powell, H.R. McMaster, who I know you were really the first person to call him out as a big threat to the MAGA agenda. And it's just overwhelming and now with no Bannon and with no Gorka, just where is the president getting information that can tie him, connect him to his own base? I heard John Kelly had taken his Trump's phone, so he won't be getting messages on his phone which again I thought was a weird story when people were telling me that I said, come on. 
Get out of here you can't take the president's phone this is incomprehensible but again that Bolton thing confirmed it and I am not a big John Bolton fan personally. I don't have anything against him but I found it amazing that he was, again, begging for a tweet saying the only way the president is gonna see my article is maybe if it goes viral. Because it has to get past General Kelly, that shows there is some kind of coup going on there. While Cernovich used the word coup to describe the situation, he admitted that although it's a strong term to use, it's accurate in this circumstance, saying that it's very hard to argue against it at this point. The country is in a historic period right now with Republican control of the House, Senate, and the executive branch, which could he use to better the nation after eight years of Barack Obama destruction. Instead, we have GOP leaders like Ryan working against our presidents and staging coups to take control from him to block his agenda, if what Cernovich says is true.